this game will just be played by spot myself today just just testing this new format so i just didn't want to bring someone down and you know make them wait eight hours while i'm figuring this all out next time we'll actually have a person in here and make this a lot more uh entertaining something ancient stalks the system something old and powerful something from the ancient wars long forgotten the Tao, not fully understanding what they had found, either out of curiosity or a need for even greater weapons, decided to integrate it with the new wave of battle suits and weapons of war. Thus, the ancient hunter was born. Given the extreme complexity of the ancient technology, this ancient, seemingly intelligent technology, after years of trying, only one command was ever acknowledged, hunt our enemies. Now the ancient hunter has set its sights on the Anubis system deep in the outskirts of the Tau Empire. A planet, and more specifically, a single train protected by a force of the Solar Watch Custodes. Here are the forces of the Solar Watch. So Solar Watch for this game, I just kind of changed around the detachment a little bit for just for the, the narrative here. So they have a plus two army-wide movement. Just to show off the speed of the Solar Watch. So starting from left to right, we have a Palace Grab Attack. Our commander, our Blade Champion Varuk, the hero of Valros Prime. Four Custodian Guard of Shields. One of them has a Vexilla, just for the rule of cool. It really won't matter too much for this, for this mission objective, but that still looks cool. And we have three Virtus Praetors. These ones have the Salvo Launchers. I have just a black hair guy showing off that he has the Salvo Launchers. Another three Virtus Praetors with the Hurricane Bolters. Four Witch Seekers. And here we have the Vanguard forces of the Ancient Hunter. Not waiting for the rest of the forces to make Blade of Fall, they have stormed ahead to attack the train. So left to right we have the unit of Tetris, a Riptide with Ion Accelerator, Twin Plasma Rifle, the two Missile Drones, a Delphish with the Burst Cannon and the Twin Missile Systems with the two Seeker Missiles. Uh, a Breacher Team with the Guardian Drone and a Shield Drone with the Kodra Fireblade. He doesn't have any kind of enhancement. We have the Ancient Hunter himself. And he has the Exemplar of the Kalyan. And a special narrative, he has Lethal Hits. And we have the Crisis Suits. And they have... Three sickle climb blasters each, shield generators, and shield drones. And we have a ghost kill with the ion raker, a unit of stealth suits with the fusion blaster and the burst cannons, and they have a marker drone as well as a shield drone. And this is our battlefield for today. The Tal will be deploying on this end, Custodes this end, Custodes will be defending the train, and the train. So this is the shield drainer, it gives the train a 4-up invuln, it has a 3-up save, 6 toughness, 8 wounds. And then we have this card, the one with the other, the engineers in it, and it has the same thing, 3-up save, toughness 6, 8 wounds. The shield generator has to be taken out first, and then we have the engine, it is toughness 12, 2-up save, 20 wounds. And this is the car the Tal are trying to get after. They're not trying to destroy that one. They're just trying to train, stop the train from leaving. The train will start moving six inches after battle round three. So the only real objective is just for the Tau to try to take this train out or just do as much damage as they can in five turns. And the Custodes will be trying to defend the train. It is a speedy Custodes lift. It's not uh, competitive anyway at all. It's it's just fun. And they are the Solar Watch, so I just kind of gave them a different detachment, just because I the four feel no pain against mortal wounds, blah blah blah. It will be a army-wide plus two movement. Just to, you know, to show the Solar Watch their speed. The Tau will still have their detachment uh, rule, just because that one's still pretty good. And it kind of fits in with the whole hunting playstyle. The Tau will be deploying and going first, just to show the urgency at, at, at stopping this train. So we will go to deployment and we'll be right back. Deployment is done. First deployment and first turn. So the custodies have deployed pretty defensively just to try to make sure they don't get alpha striked, but aggressively enough so they can, you know, get up in there and maybe help defend the train. And the ancient hunter seems solely bent on destroying the train and securing the car. But what could be inside? We will go on to turn one.
All right, so that was the tau movement phase. I also forgot that I had uh, not done my scout moves with the sister, so they moved up just uh, six inches up behind that container a little bit. But the ancient hunter has moved his forces up quite aggressively to make sure he gets all shots upon the train. And we were going to go into the shooting phase and see what happens. All right, since it's just me, I'm going to do a lot of the pitter-patter off camera, but the bigger shots I'll... I'll I'll show just so we're going to start off with the ghost kill and it's going to use this ion raker and he needs four so I'm not using anyone to spot him so fours that's not bad and then I'm overcharging of course so strength eight against toughness six on the train so I need threes that's yeah, not bad so so the, the, the train is going to defend. This is AP2, which is a 3-up save, but the train has a 4-up involved with the shield generator. So let's see what happens. Boop. Train takes 3 wounds. So the train, the first train car with the uh, shield generator is down to 5 wounds now. Now on to the Riptide. The Riptide will be being guided by the Devilfish into the train. So... Let's do the heavy ion first. So it would be threes to hit. Nope. Oh, that's not the best. Okay. And then threes to wound. All right, two sixes. They don't mean anything, I don't believe. Look here. No. Nope. Now two saves, two four ups. Fail that one. So that will kill him because he actually took two more wounds from the Tetras and the Delphish. Each one of them planked off one wound each. And so that will actually take out the shield generator with those three wounds from the Riptide. All right, so the rest of the weapons steadily bounced off the train, but. Well, there was once a shield generator car, there was now a crater. So now we are going to move on to, we just really have the breacher team and the crisis suits left. All as well as the stealth. So stealth suits are actually going to try shooting into these uh, for just prey doors. Through the window here, because I just have these playing just uh, with ruins with windows. I know, some something new. All right, so the Breachers in the Cadre Fireblade were able to take off two wounds off the train, off the engineer car. And now we're going to shoot the Cyclic Eye Blasters from the Crisis Suits into the train, being spotted by the Tetris. So I can reroll hits. We're going to do this first one on camera. And then after that, we'll just do the, whoop, the saves. It's a lot of dice. So we have uh, 27 here. Whoop. And looking for threes, re-rolling anything because of the Tetris. So pick anything up that's not a three. Reroll these. That's pretty spicy. So there are two misses. And we'll pick these up. Strength eight. I'll have to roll these ones and then pick these ones up. Roll those. Pick these ones up. Roll these. And we are looking for threes to wounds. We'll just, uh, we'll come back after this for the, for the save. I'll count all this up. All right, so we've got 17 wounds through. So we're going to do these three at a time since the uh, the train car here has six wounds left. So we're going to do three at a time. Two, two damage each. Boop, 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 boop. I need fives. Okay. Still alive. Dead. And then we'll roll the rest of these. All right, we uh, just rewound that just a little bit, just because I forgot that uh, each train car is its own unit. So the cyclic ion blasters did destroy the engineer car, but the uh, damage didn't go through the engine. But the commander gets to fire, and he has three plasma rifles. It's going to be hitting on two through rolling. Good thing for the rerolls. All right, and then strength eight against toughness 12 of the engine, so you need fives. Oh, it's a five. So, and then a EP3. So I need a five up save from the engine. So the engine has a two up save. 
It fails, so three damage goes through on the engine. The engine's down to 17 wounds. Oh, the stealth suits, they just bounced. I think that's the end of all my shooting. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. If not, it's, this is more of a test game just to see how this is going. But so far, the train is taking a beating. We just have the engine and the secure train car left. And on to turn one for the custodians. I almost forgot about our hazardous. So we have the hazardous on the ghost keel. Passes. The hazardous on the riptide. Passes. And three hazardous on each of the crisis suits. Ah, pass every single one. These guys are on fire. Potent weaponry the Agent Hunter has. Solar Watch have moved aggressively up to try to hopefully put some of the hurt onto the Agent Hunter's forces. But we will see what happens in the shooting phase. We advance with the Blade Champion getting a 5 with the advance, so he moved 11. These guys just shuffled up to get some shots onto Crisis Suits. These spells came up. This guy might be able to get a shot onto... The Breachers, same as the Witch Seekers, and the Grab Attack. So let's see what happens in the Custodia shooting phase. Our shooting phase is going to be pretty short for the Custodia, so... We are just going to fire the salvo launchers into the crisis suits. So I need twos. And we hit them all. And then three wounds are strength nine and toughness six. That uh, three wounds. All right. So three wounds. Well, nope. Two wounds. So two wounds. And then so they have a Four up in bone with the AP of two, two AP, so AP one, and these guys have a base save of three, so four ups, two four ups is what I need. Fail one, so he takes three damage, one of the crisis suits. Not a lot of damage from the old salvo launchers. All right, so the solar watch with all their advanced weaponry pretty much bounced off these breachers. They, they had some amazing rolls, hit all their fives and everything, and so yeah, I managed to kill four breachers with a palace grab attack, one hurricane bolter, four sisters. Yeah, so the, um, that's pretty much it. I might try to charge these Virtus Praetors around into these stealth suits. But other than that, that's pretty much it. I'll do the charge on camera here. Probably quite high number. A nine. That'll most likely do it. And that gnawing actually fails. You can't actually get around there and... Uh, Get base than anyone, so on to the Tau turn. Having survived the attack from the Custodies with hardly losing any of their forces, the Ancient Hunter is pushing forward to try to destroy the train. For the moon phase, we mostly just shuffled around a little bit, kind of get some better angles on some of these units, because I think we might actually start firing at some of these units next. Once again, the Ion Raker from the Ghost Key is going to go into the train. Not being spotted by anyone, so fours. Oh, oh. Strength eight, toughness twelve, so fives. There's two wounds. EP three, getting cover. Oh, the train is, so. The, especially the engine there. So we get two, so we need fours. Oh, save one, so the train takes three wounds, and he's down to 17. So we're gonna, we'll do the rest of the pitter-patter off camera for them, but we'll just do the uh, Riptide here on camera as well. Let's see what happens. So he also gets six shots. He's gonna be spotted by the, uh, by the stealth suits. So he needs threes. Hit every time. Needs fives. That's one. And the save from the train. The self suits have a mark light, so no cover. So this would be on through. So we have five. And it saves that as well. The train. Train's doing good. Alright, so we're going to just do some of the, pit, the rest of the pitter patter off camera. I'll come back probably for the 
stealth suits. So the stealth suits manage to uh, kill one of the custodian guard. The breachers picked up the witchers or witch seekers. Witchers. Uh -huh. um, and then all the other little pitter patter really didn't do much. Took a wound off of a Virtus Praetor. And now we are going to shoot at the. Sadly, a lot of these uh, crisis suits are no longer in range of anything to shoot. So we're just mostly going to shoot the plasma at these Virtus Praetors from the commander. And I think we will use a strike and fade. We might get closer, we might get further back. I'm not quite sure yet. But either way, let's, here's the. Uh, oh, they're going to be spotted since the tetra here can see the tip of his little stupid spear and him poking out there yep so we are going to be spotted by the tetris to be rolling hits uh, two so i do believe he's being spotted yep good that three ones good thing the tetris are spotting that okay all right uh, yep. all right so he hits every time and we're in battle round two the exemplar of the kalyan kicks in and his lethal hits from being the ancient hunter. So he's going to have just one lethal hit already. And then we have two extras. I need threes. All right. So all together, that's four wounds onto my custodies. So I need four ups. Hmm. Not good. I think that would... Kills the one-on-one -on -one wound and kills another one. So three damage each and the Virtus Praetors or four wounds each. So I lose two Virtus Praetors and I think that would really be the end of the turn. We're not going to charge anything. Uh, I am going to use Strike and Fade. I think I will just kind of move back just a little bit here. Because I think some of my long-range weapons should be able to take out the train the next turn but we'll see what the custodies do to counter the solar watch have pushed aggressively far up here just to hopefully keep pushing the tail back so they can't get close to the engine the big guns will still get some shots onto the engine but hopefully we can keep them from taking the engine out since we've lost the engineers we've lost the shield generator car and this bad boy's down to 17 wounds i just need to kind of mark it over here 17 wounds and we will go on to the Custodes shooting phase. The Hurricane Bolters on the Virtus Praetors really powered up. That's the wounds they got through. 12 wounds. The four up saves are only AP zero on these breaches. And hopefully, let's see what happens. Whoop. Okay, that's the man. They've been rolling pretty good. So they're four up saves. So everything that's a four up is... See these breaches? They're immortal. The immortal breaches. So I lose three breaches from 12... Look at that. That's amazing. All right, so we lose three breachers, and we'll go on to more of the Custodes Peter Powder shooting. But there is not too much left from a shooting, really. These breaches have been doing so good, so we'll show the show the rolls for these fellas, because the, uh, the Custodes Guard, they got six wounds through on the breachers. So let's see. We need, once again, these are AP1, though. So these are actually going to be five. And... That would kill the last three and puts a wound onto the Codra Fireblade. It took all the custody shooting, but the Palace Grab Attack got that on its wounding roll. So when it does devastating wounds, it's only one damage each for the devastating wounds. So that would kill that last Codra Fireblade. But now we have some charges to make the Blade Champions unit into the Devilfish. And he's going to use his once per game advance and charge. Let's grab some of these custody dice down here. We'll do, he probably needs like a seven or an eight. He may need quite high charge. Yep. Uh, that's not what I'm going to do, but he has ability. He can also re-roll charges. I do, yep, he can roll re-roll charge for free. Up, 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 and advances and all that. Yep. Even worse, so he's not going anywhere. The Virtus Praetor will charge into those self suits. He makes it. And we will charge these Virtus Prey stores into that Ghost Keel. Hmm. We'll spend a CP on that. Let's 
six. I don't even know if a six will make that. I'll measure that up and we'll come back for maybe the only one combat that made it. So yes, that, that charge would not have made it with a six, but the Virtus Praetor did make it in with a nine. So that's good. Not the Virtus Praetor, the Palace Grab Attack, but uh, so that's the only two ones we'll do. I don't we'll do anything over here. So five attacks, they have Lance. And we will use um, Sustain Hits Katana. The sixes are just 30s pretty much. We got it like that. So the one misses. The three go back in. Strength seven against toughness four, plus one to wound for Lance. So two is to wound. Oh. So it wounds them every time for seven wounds. We'll just pick these up because we do stealth suit save on. Stealth suits have three up saves, so AP five, so five up saves. Every save, every failed one's a dead stealth suit. Not a bad effort. Not a bad effort, but that kills one, two, three, and the squad. And with that, we'll end the Solar Watch's turn two. The Palace Grab Attack, of course, just bounced off the Ghost Kill, but not bad pressure. I wish I could have made a few more of those charges, but we are going to move on to the Ancient Hunter and see what they can do against the train or possibly these advancing custodies. Our movement... Turn three for the Tau next. The Ancient Hunter has moved his Tau forces up. Just move blocking, hopefully charge blocking with the Devilfish, and then moving up with the Crisis Suits to get some shots onto these Custodes. And then we have Ghost Kill State in combat, so we can still shoot into the, the train some. Tetras, they just kind of moved up to your just move block these units as well, and hopefully the Riptide gets a few more shots onto the train engine. And that is our movement phase, so on to shooting next. Alright, so once again, we'll, we did a little bit of pitter-patter off camera. The Devilfish and the Tetras really just kind of bounced off the Custodian Guard. And we just have the Riptide now. The Riptide is going to fire into the train engine, see if we can do as much damage as we can, see if we can destroy it and win the game. But we'll see. We're going to fire the Accelerator. So we're going to be using the Devilfish to spot for the Riptide. So we're hitting on threes and sixes. Will be sustained twos from being guided. And no sixes. Hitting on threes, and then wounding on fives and sixes. It's two wounds. I'm getting cover. There's this little rock here is giving cover to the engine. So, two saves, so three ups turn to 53. Two up saves turns to two, uh, four ups with the cover. Two saves. Twin Plasma. Misses. And we'll fire the rocket pods into the Custodian Guard. Since they won't miss. I think seven, so threes. That is a wound. And then, so it's AP2, AP1, so three up save for the Custodies. And that is a three. So the guard take no damage. That's pretty much all the shots from the Riptide. So we're going to move over to the Ghost Kill. It's going to shoot into the train as well. It's in combat, so it's going to be hitting on and not being guided. So it's going to be hitting on fives. So it's going to shoot the Ion Raker as well. This time we've got two sixes. So it's sustained two. So two, the two misses hit. Fives and sixes, so strength nine against toughness twelve. And we have three. Same thing here, AP three. And we're getting cover from the they're just shooting there, but it's getting cover from the big crate. So let's pick these up. Once again, looking for fours. Well, this time we take three wounds, so it takes me down to 14 wounds on the train. Here we have the Ghost Kill, and it's going to also shoot at the train. And it has six shots, hitting on five since it is in combat. It's not being spotted, so it's just sustained one. Two sixes. So turn with two extra hits. 
five sixes, one six. And it gives out a four of saves, eight P3, but getting cover from the container. I'm shooting into this train. The container's kind of in the way there. Makes the save. So the train is still at 17 wounds. No damage. A pretty, pretty poor shooting phase so far. So we'll go on to the crisis suits, and then that'll be the end of the shooting phase. So now the last unit we have to shoot is the crisis suits. And they are going to shoot the cyclics into the custodian guard. And the plasma is going to shoot into the train engine. So we'll just roll the hits here. We'll just roll this, and then we'll come back after the roll for the roll roll. Or actually for the save roll. And six members being spotted by the Tetris and getting the re-roll hits. And sixes are going to be sustained twos and some being spotted in turn three. And we'll come back after the saves. 23 runes with the, once everything's kind of rolled through, with the three crisis suits and their three cyclic iron blasters each. So I need four ups here, and I've used the Arcane Genetic Alchemy for minus one damage, so it's going to take four say, four fails to kill one, since they all have shields. So let's take out the passes. One dead. Two dead. Three dead. Three dead, and one down to one wound. Plasma into the train. And since it's shooting at something different, it'll actually have a worse ballistic skill, so that is a miss. But there's a sustained just a once, and it's not being spotted. It's not shooting. It is being spotted, though. Yep. So those two wounds on the train. Pick those up. 8 3 And there actually is not getting covered this time, so we need five ups. Man, this train does not want to die. The other one went down fast. That's no wounds under the train at all. But three custodian guard down and just one left in the squad with one wound. We also have our hazardous rolls for our cyclic. One suit's already taking three damage. Any ones? Oh, so that will kill one suit and bring another suit down to half. Hazardous for the riptide. Passes. Hazardous for the ghost keel. Passes. Charge onto those the Blade Champions unit there from the four. Strike and fade. We are tank shock in here in our charge. Come on, nice one. Oh, nice. So that's four mortal wounds. That will bring the Blade Champion down to three wounds, I do believe. We'll attack with the Devilfish. It gets six attacks, hitting on, I think, four to five. Like that. Definitely a five would hit. And then it would need another five. So that's a wound, and we'll save it with the Blade Champion. Two. So that would be a save. But I do believe the Blade Champion is down to three wounds, and we've lost the Custodian Guard. That was a pretty brutal charge by the Delvish there, killing the Custodian Guard and leaving my Blade Champion on three wounds. So I'm taking the Lethal Hits Kata. And I made the mistake in the battle so far. He doesn't have the he doesn't have ceaseless hunter, but he has the veil blade, so he has two extra attacks. But just so I'm not over points, and you know, just playing the devastating wounds weapon, just because it has more damage. If, even if they do get the lethal hits through, so he's gonna have seven attacks with the pull two extra attacks, hitting on twos, hits and sixes. So that's no lethal and two ones. So that's fantastic. Fives, but sixes will be devastating. Mm. Pretty disappointing. So, for, so that's just uh, three dev wounds on that devil fish. So he is still very much going to be in my face. So I do believe that's everything else here. These guys struck and fade with the, all my remaining CP to move back here, if I didn't mention that. And I used the tank shock there, so I'm out of CP. I only have one CP for the... Custodes. All right, on to Custodes turn three. Forward watch, it was a pretty quick movement phase. The Virtus Praetors just all pretty much moved up to try to get a bead on these crisis suits, see if we can take those out. I do believe I'm going to try an overwatch with the CP I gained from this turn for the Ancient Hunter. He is going to try to pound into these 
custodians. And I'll try to remember my little narrative rule I uh, made for him, because I don't know if I remember for most of the game now. So he's going to fire the Overwatch into into these ones. See if we can get lucky and kill them. We won't get sustained two on the sixes, but we'll still get sustained one. The Overwatch and see what happens. All right, so that's the hit roll. So we'll throw in five extras for the sustained. And we're going to need to overcharge. We're going to need three to wound. That'll be six wounds on the Virtus Praetors. And then the overcharge will bring them up to their invuln saved. So we need fours. Save them all except for two. So it is going to kill a bike. We'll kill this one back here. We have the plasma. From the ancient hunters, sixes will be lethal and sustained one. And he misses. So that's the overwatch. Alright, so the shooting phase, pretty short summary there. The uh, Virtus Praetors, uh, the Salvo Launcher missed, but the two Hurricane Bolters got a couple wounds through. So the one last crisis was down to four wounds. The Palace Grab Attack did no wounds to the Ghost Keel. Here's kind of what the battle looks like here. Train still fueled. I do believe the train should have been starting to move here next turn. To charge this Virtus Praetor into these crisis suits. Six. Six will not make it, so he's end up staying there. By charging these ones. Whoop. Five. So I am going to re-roll that because that won't make it, I don't believe. There's more than six, so I need... Six. That will make it in. So we'll do come back. We'll do it here first since that is the one, one that has the only charge that really made it in. So we have five attacks each from each bike. We're going to use sustained hits. Getting on two sixes are supporting. So we got a one, another one, and one six. So that one, this one goes back in. First one hit. Six, seven, plus the six on a crisis, so it's threes, plus one to wound because of Lance. So twos. That's a pretty good roll there. So we'll just pick this all back up. Oh. And so that is going to kill this fella and put the commander down to four wounds. And I don't think we could pile in three inches to pile in. So we're within an inch. So we're still keep him in combat. Six attacks from the Devilfish. Say the uh, Talion doesn't work for that. And then the five. Those two fours would have been um, two wounds. So we need two ups for the Blade Champion. He makes both. Uh, we'll just we'll do that off camera. I don't think either of those are going to be doing much much damage. So we'll we'll do the blade champion five attacks plus the two from the veiled blade, and hopefully get a little more lucky. So the one, two ones once again, and a six, and his last one, fives and sixes. There's two wounds, AP three. I think that would be go both both go through. All right, so that the devilish takes six damage. Still four wounds left though. So I think that is the custodian's turn. And yeah, like we thought, and nothing has happened there. This has just pretty much been a pillow fight the whole time. And uh, on to the Tao's ancient hunter turn four, and the train will actually be starting to move now. The movement phase was pretty quick. We just fell back with the Ancient Hunter so we can get some shots from the Riptide onto those Virtus Praetors. Fell back, so we did have the little, we took the War Gear to fall back with the Ghost Kill, but I really just wanted to keep him tied up there, but it's just not happening. So we're going to fall back there to get some more shots onto this other Virtus Praetor, see if we can neuter the rest of these custodians and then finish off this train before it's out of sight. Pitter patter was uh, done off camera, some little twin burst cannons and all that, but the iron rakers and the iron accelerators we're going to do on camera. I'm going to do the first one, the Riptide, it's, it's missiles bounced off these fellas, but so we're going to spot with the Tetris, with the Riptide, into these 
Burgess Praetors. Can reroll the hits, and they are being spotted, so sixes are sustained. So we're just going to pick up anything that isn't a six and roll it again. No luck, but they all did hit. Plus two extra here and two extra there. So now, freeze. It's five wounds. And these will be on fours. So that's a two fail. So they have four wounds each. These are three damage each. So that's going to kill a bike. And then we'll do a hazardous roll. And it's a two plasma. We can re-roll the hit since that is spotted by the Tetris. Into another one. I really want to get that plasma. I'll kill that last bike. So that just kills this bike. There's still a bike alive. And we're going to use this ion raker just to see if we can rake that other bike to death. So, raking. Oh, they're being spotted by the devilfish. Doesn't make a difference, no sixes. But hitting it would have been a lot less hits. So now, same thing, we need threes. So that is, sixes don't do anything. But that is three wounds. Four ups. That, well, I'm going to spend the CP that I got this turn. So that one is left with one wound remaining. So that is the shooting phase. I am going to charge this Riptide into that uh, Purchase Praetor, though. Riptide away. A four. So he is more than five away from him, so that... Fails the charge. Dodie's turn four. All right, so pretty quick movement phase again. Um, not many units left. We just kind of use move the Virtus Praetor ahead a little bit here, just so I can try and get a shot on here as well as a charge onto the Riptide. This Virtus Praetor moved ahead here to get a charge onto the Ancient Hunter. The Palace Grab Tack just stayed there. Oh, I could re-roll his uh, battle shot. Uh, he is battle shocked. Doesn't really make much of a difference. He can't use stratagems, but I really wasn't using many with him anyways. So we're gonna go on to the shooting phase. Shooting phase, the big thing is, is the salvo launcher into this fella. Is it gonna do anything or not? So, hitting on twos. It's a hit. And then wounding on a three. Idiot. I kinda made, I need to re-roll that because I need to Worse. Cool. Great. Okay. Other Virgus Praetor. We are in rapid fire range. Twos. Sixes don't do anything. Strength four. So it's five. So uh, four. Fives to wound. Fives and sixes. That's not bad. So we'll just pick those up. And the threes for the commander. He takes one wound. So we'll bring him down to three. Just Alright. So he's down to three. The We'll do the pals grab tack off camera and we'll uh, come back to the charge phase. Sorry, we did get two dev wounds through with the pals grab attack, but we just put them on the drones. And so the ghost kill still full health. We're going to do the charge from this for just Praetor into the Ancient Hunter. That makes it barely with a five. And then this for just Praetor into this Riptide. Now that makes it barely on a 6-2. These charges have been discussed in this game. We have five attacks. We will go for Explodies and five attacks. Sixes are sustained. That's the kata we use for combat. So no sixes. All right. Great. And then two, two wound. Through two ones. So that's three. We'll use these dice. These we need to save two of these. Oh, we will use the one CP we got from this turn. He's still alive with a wound. We'll do this combat here. Five attacks. Hopefully, this fella can power up a little bit. 
Yeah, well, at least he didn't miss. He got one sustained. And I'm usually wounding on fives, but fours because of Lance. So that is every wound. Eight powered up hard, so six. And the Riptide has a two up save, I believe. Yep, a two up save, so he needs fours. Ouch. So he takes ten wounds. Bringing that Riptide down to four. Look at that. He's ten wounds to the Riptide. Two wounds to this fella. Ten. Two. Do it just in case the Devilfish gets lucky. So six attacks. Hitting on fives. Wounding on fours. That's one wound. AP nothing, so one would, would fail. He's good. So let's do his attacks back. So I think it's just the Riptide left in him. So he has five, seven attacks. We'll use the same thing. Six of the Explodies. He once again, he, this guy has not powered up at all. Five and six is one six and this guy would be dead. There we go. So the Devilfish is dead. Let's see if the Devilfish, look at that. Oh, three sixes. So that's nine damage regardless to the devastating wounds. To all that, just to, he had one wound left and gets the nine. All right, and let's see if it blows up. No. All right, and on to the Riptide. Let's see if he can hopefully get lucky. This Devilfish is gone. So let's see if these Riptide can get lucky. So he is sitting on fives. Uh, not lucky. He misses every single time. So. All right, so let's roll the Battle Shock test for the Ancient Hunter. Oh, he is Battle Shocked. It's too. Ooh. So he can't fall back, which is not the best. And the Riptide, so he can he has fall back and shoot built into his profile. He's just going to fall back a little bit so he can get shots onto the fleeing train. The train is pretty much gone. Really, you can only see this part, so they really wouldn't be able to even see. So I get some shots at the engine, and that is it. The train is still at 17 wounds. The champion's there. So this is the last attempt of the ancient hunter to try to somehow plank up the last bunch of wounds off that uh train trains are going to spot for the ghost keel the ghost keel is going to see if we can kill this last virtus praetor and then this the ancient hunter is going to spot the train boop, 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 for the riptide so we'll just do the twin burst cannon into this virtus praetor first so we'll be hitting on three because we're being spotted and be rolling hits. The bells all over fists or sixes because we're gonna try to kill this fella. So that is mm, they all hit every time. And then five sixes to wound. And that's none. So we'll shoot the ion raker next. Overcharging, of course. three of those in and then we'll pick up these three and hopefully get a six here. Once again, no sixes, but all hits. This is strength eight, so three to wound. So lots of wounds. Three, five wounds. I use my lucky wall, but not too lucky this game. Fours. Mm, that, even with the reroll, that would kill this fella. Boom, so he is dead. Go on to the Riptide. It is going to shoot. Actually, we'll shoot the Plasma into here, and everything else will go up there. The okay, Plasma is going to be hitting on fives, since it's the being spotted. We're spotting the train, so drinks some ballistics to go down by one. So fives. It's a miss. And then we have our three, six. Ion accelerators into the train. Hopefully for some sixes here. We got one. Looking for fives and sixes. 
That's just one. Barely four up save. So it takes three wounds. So it brings the train down to 14 wounds. Wrap at the last turn, just why not? But I do believe the train will make it out. All right, we're at the end of the bottom of Custode's turn five. Surprisingly enough, in the last turn, the Tau turn, the clap back by the Virtus Praetor didn't say kill him. He saved every one of them. So now the Ancient Hunter attack back did nothing to the Virtus Praetor. So now we're going to find out if the Ancient Hunter, at least in this platform, escapes. Or twos, sustain hits. Nothing. I'll hit though, and then three. Take those out. And three four up saves. Still have the reroll. The command point. Ooh, command point reroll. He makes it. He makes it out. The Riptide makes it out. The Ghost Keel and the Tetris. And the train as well. The train escapes with 14 wounds. So next game, whenever I have that, I'm hopefully have another person in here. This is more of a test game to get things going, but in the next game, maybe the Tau will be able to crack open this protected train car and see what's inside. And everyone else can hear it also see why the Ancient Hunter designated the train over the custodies, over anything else in the system. Why did they decide to attack the train? So, hopefully we'll find out in the next game. I don't know when this one will be. I'm hoping next week to get some orcs in. So we'll uh, find out then. Thanks for stopping by, and uh, we'll see you later.